Hello everybody and welcome back to RuneScape. This is episode 131 of this Let's Play series and today we will be doing the Jungle Potion quest because I felt kind of like doing a random quest and that one's a pretty short and easy quest that will give us a very tiny amount of herbal experience. Nowhere near enough to gain a level but it will give us that and it's also a prerequisite for quite a few other quests. And you might notice that I only have one new challenge unlocked, that's because the game crashed and then it was right when the day was setting over, so that's what happened there. Right, sometimes if I change my graphic settings after I do a test, like preview recording, the game will just crash when I try to start recording, I don't know why. It's very strange. Well, no choices here. We just got told what we're getting our bonus experiences. Or whatever I said that wrong um I don't think we actually need any items for this quest we just need to go ahead and well okay it might be useful to have some armor on so let's go ahead and I guess we'll just grab this armor because it's here uh, we'll have the Explorer's ring sure the obsidian cape flip bark helm yeah that should be good enough so today the boss practice mode came out. That's pretty cool, I guess. We might be trying that out sometime in the near or distant future. I don't have a weapon. Kind of important. Uh, what weapon do I use? I guess I use this. Okay, so there we go. We're set up. Let's go ahead and home teleport on down to Kramja. And we have to go to the Taibo Wanai village. And that is where we will discuss the beginnings of this quest with some guy. So, yes. Fun times. Apparently they've updated this clock to have some new features, but I'm not sure how exactly you use them. Like notifications and stuff, but... I think you're supposed to mark your challenges as a favorite somehow. And then it'll tell you if you pin it, then yeah. And I was losing my voice there for a second. Okay, well anyway, um, here we are, Taibo Wanai Village. There's a chicken, there's a guy, uh, oh gosh, run away! Okay, I don't think we're actually supposed to go in the village, I think we're supposed to talk to this guy. Maybe not though. Rufitus. Greetings, Buana, I am Trufitus Shikaya of the Taibo Wanai Village. I'm probably saying all these wrong, by the way. Welcome to our humble village. It's a nice village, but where is everyone? My people are afraid to stay in the village. They have returned to the jungle. I need to commune with the gods to see what fate befalls us. You may be able to help with this. Me? How can I help? I need to make a special brew, a potion that helps me to commune with the gods. For this potion, I need very special herbs that are only found in the deep jungle. I can only guide you so far as the herbs are not easy to find. With some luck, you will find each herb in turn and bring it to me. I will then give you the details of where to find the next herb. In return for this great favor, I will give you training in herb lore. Sounds like just the challenge for me, and it would make a nice break from killing things. That is excellent, Buana. The first herb that you need to gather is called Snakeweed. It grows near vines in an area to the southwest, where the ground turns soft and the water kisses your feet. Good for you. Yeah, that's something that they haven't really gotten into yet, is apparently Karamja has its own set of gods that they only vaguely refer to in some of these jungle-related quests. But we really don't know anything about them yet, and who knows when we ever will. Okay, I think Snakeweed is right here. I searched the vine. Do it for the vine. I find a grimy herb and I clean it. Good job, me. Oh, I see why I'm so far from level. I just barely got a level. I haven't forgotten about this either. 273 remaining. 
Why did I set my target as level 120? That's interesting. Probably to see how much experience it has, I guess. Well, let's go bring this back to this guy. What's going on there? Fire coming through the roof? That's not good. Bad house design if you have fire coming through your flammable roof. Okay. Hello, Buana. Do you have the snake weed? Of course. Great, you have the snake weed. Many thanks. Okay, the next herb is called Adragal. It is related to the palm and grows to the east in its brother's shady profusion. To the east, you will find a small peninsula. It is just after the cliffs come down to meet the sands. This is where you should search for it. Okay. I think I remember where this is. I could be wrong. But we'll just run on over there and hope I'm right. And if I'm wrong, then we've wasted time. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, that was something else. Ramja. Huh. wonder what that's about. There, that. Open world select is now a right-click option on that. I guess it knows where you are and you can home teleport. Do it. Okay, yeah, here we go. You can see it growing along the bases of these palm trees. He could have just said next to the harpy bug swarms. I wonder if he can just go gather all these before he tells you where they are. I don't actually know. It could be like, you don't know what to do with this, so you leave it. Or you can't find it. Something stupid like that. Ooh, who's this? Uh, that didn't really help me know who it was, because his name's unpronounceable. Hello, dangerous tribesmen. Okay, I went too far south. If I'm running into the mining spot, I have gone too far south. Let's head back north. These monkeys are all prancing around the jungle. I want to catch one. And someday I will. Okay, here we are. Yes, yes, uh, of course I have it. Great, you have the Adrigal. Many thanks. You are doing well, Buana. The next herb is called Cetofoil, and it grows best where the ground has been blackened by the living flame. I remember this one. It's to the south of the city. Well, it's not really the city. The village. But regardless, it's underneath it in the south. There. We want to search. And we will find. Yep. Good stuff. Okay, I think there's, what, like, one more? Maybe two? At least one more, though. And then the quest should be complete, I think. It is kind of weird that one of the first jungle quests you do mentions the Karamjin gods, but... All these years later, and they still have not even done anything with them. Of course I've been successful... Oh, two more. Okay. Next up is Valencia Moss. It clings to rocks for its existence. It is difficult to see, so you must search for it well. It prefers rocks of high metal content and a frequently disturbed environment. There is some, I believe, to the southeast of this village. Yeah, that's right. I'd forgotten there's one in the mining spot. So, that's good. One more to go after this. The one that's furthest away, I think. Oh, hello. I think I can capture you. Let's capture you, even though your reward is going to suck. Well, I'll take it. I can always eat that. Okay, which one of these is searchable? This one. Yay! Valencia Moss. I kind of wish they would add a use for all these. And some potion that you can make that would be actually useful. Just because they're all here. Heck, if this potion is supposed to help them commune with the gods, they could all be used in some sort of advanced prayer potion. Okay, yes, I have been successful. Many thanks, right? No, he doesn't say many thanks this time. Ah, oh, Valencia Moss, beautiful. One final herb and the potion will be complete. This is the most difficult to find, as it inhabits the darkest of the underground. It is called Brogue's Purse, and it will only be found in Pothole Caverns, in the northern part of this island. 
A secret entrance to the Pothole Caverns is set into the northern cliffs of this land. Take care, Buana, as it may be dangerous. Okay. Yeah, I knew where this one was. I like they upgraded the farming patch graphics, and I really like them. They look nice. I'm glad that they've got the ninja team, as they call them, working on graphical upgrades now. Because there's definitely a lot of random things like that, like this. They should upgrade this. I doubt it's very high on their list, but, like, or these trees here. There's still trees around the game that have not been upgraded. And they could do that. So hopefully they keep doing that. They're upgrading old monsters too, of course. Which they did skeletons recently, and... I'm really enjoying that. It's nice. I mean, if I worked for Jagex, I would want to be on the ninja team, because that's always been what I wanted to do, is go in and fix and upgrade old things that nobody else has the time to worry about. Okay, so I'm not 100% certain where in here it is, but I feel like it's to the south. These dangerous joggers, or yogers, or... I don't even know how to pronounce this. Oh wait, there was one. There one is. Oh my gosh. Please. What is going on here? I can't reach it? Why is it there then? Come on. You can do it. You gonna find it? It's right there. I can see it myself. Okay, let's try this out. Yeah, it does. I'm guessing it's going to take us right to Karamja. That's cool. I don't know. Is that like the last one you went to or the one you're closest to? We'll find out, I guess. Or maybe not, because I mostly travel by home teleport, so it's always going to be my last used and closest one for the most part. Oh, well. Oh, I had to stop walking to do that. That sucks. I should probably select a spell while I'm thinking of it. Autocast, thank you. Main hand spell set to air blast. Okay, where? And they even did special graphics depending on the location for the edges. That's very nice. Alright, uh, going in here. Of course I've been successful. Most excellent, Buana, you have returned all the herbs to me, and I can finish the preparations for the potion, and at last divine with the gods. Many blessings on you. I must now prepare. Please excuse me while I make the arrangements. Yay. And quest complete. One quest point, 775 herb lore experience, and two treasure hunter keys. I won't say no to that. Let's hopefully get something good here. I'm not sure what qualifies as good. Something other than bonus experience and a useless item. Come on. Oh, well, at least that's in a skill. Oh, hey. Nice. I will gladly take that. No level, but still. Yeah, okay. Uh, so now we have the rest of the episode to do whatever I want. I could do one of these. This one would be easy enough. Is it just me, or is this music really loud? But my music settings are right. I don't know. Okay, right, back to what I was doing. So we do have the circus to do. Where's the circus at? Let's find out. I really wish it wouldn't give the arrow automatically. I will click the arrow if I want it. Oh well. Ah, it's the one in Falador. Or at the very least, it should remove it once you get in there. So now it should say Falador, yes. I do have a daily task to kill that thing. I don't know if we can do it, though. I've not been back there since they upgraded it, but they made it a lot more complicated. Right. Uh, these dots are kind of hard to see sometimes, but there it is. They've moved this one around a couple times, I think. Yes, thank you for the ticket. Let's go. 
Oh, I should check, actually. They don't tell you whenever you unlock new quests from doing that, but I might have unlocked some new quests. Such as, uh, Taibo One Eye Trio. I'm not sure about that, but I think so, yes. And probably a few others, I don't know. Anyway, let's close that up. And we'll go ahead and do magic. Let's alchemy it up. Have they fixed this yet? No, they have not. Disappointing. Yeah, we're not going to get a magic level, sadly. But we will make good progress. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and somehow get a range level. As unlikely as that may be. We're actually having pretty good luck with these high level ones, considering I'm only level 57. Oh, spoke too soon. Oh well, on to the ones I actually have the level for. These should all be a success, right? Yep. And yep. And yep. And yep. Awesome. More experience than I expected to get, actually. Not bad. Okay, next up. We want to use throwing knives, I guess. Die. Okay, you die. No, yes. Actually, the point is to not kill him. So that's probably good that I failed. Okay, well, not doing that great. So probably not a level, but we'll get close. No, not a level at all. Oh well. Well, then again, the XP went way up, but still no. Very close. Yay, okay. And the final one, agility. Sadly, we can't do thieving or fire making yet. Okay. Not gonna get a level on this either, I think, but very good progress nonetheless. It's definitely worth doing these. Faster experience than training the skill normally. Up, oh. and there you go. Come on. Oh. Okay. I got more experience than I expected. Then Cramja Crossing, double loot from Desert Bandits. Well, that's embarrassing, I guess. I thought I had further to go in experience. Yeah, let me see. Get down there. Okay. Uh, and that's it that we unlocked. Okay, uh, let's get out of here. We go poof. What to do next? Maybe... Maybe we get rid of this stupid flashing thing. Where does that happen? That happens here. I guess. No, that happens... Here. Okay, I could do this. I think uh, I will. But let's stop by the bank real quick first and grab me a light source. Here we go. Light source is right. I saw it earlier. There it is. Okay. And we're going to have to empty out my hands, so I'll do that while I'm thinking of it. Lumbridge. You have to take advantage of that shortcut that we unlocked from doing the, uh... I don't even remember the name of the quest that we did. But we did it. I remember doing it. Okay, get inside there. Astroth. That's a bad name. I hope nobody watching this is named Nastroth. I kind of doubt it, but it could happen, I guess. Okay, heading on through. It is dark in here. Yeah, the, uh, the Sears Village thing is not a very bright light source until you complete the higher sets. Because that's something you might not know, is that there's actually different levels of brightness from light sources. It's not a thing that's really brought up that often in the game, but it is true. Jeez. They need to upgrade these frogs, that's what they need to do. 
They still look the same as they did in 2007. And that should really be what they use as an indicator for what needs upgraded. If it hasn't changed in the past eight years, maybe it needs changed. Okay, let's see how this goes. Hopefully we'll gain a level or two or three. Oh, wow. I kind of skipped through it, but it actually did the quest we just did. Which will allow us to stay in here slightly longer. That's why we're doing it after the quest, not before. Okay. Come on, luck. Just stay in this one spot the entire time. It could happen. It didn't happen, but it could. Come on. Luck is on my side. We're not having terrible constant switching, as I've had a lot on my main account lately. Very frustrating. Especially since if it changes, you can't react very fast nowadays. They did an upgrade a couple years ago, so-called upgrade, that delays your actions. It used to be if it switched, you could move away instantly and not get stuck with the green if it came in, but... Oh, 54. Not bad. What do we get? What do we get? Four divination levels. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. Okay. Uh, what next, then? We don't really need to worry about the monthly stuff quite yet. So I think we're actually done with this junk. So maybe I should look into... I should look into this, shouldn't I? Glowing memories. I wonder where those are. I have no idea. I could look it up, though. I'll look it up real quick. Glowing memories. Uh, glowing springs. Apparently they're near Catherby. Uh, oh, right. Near, near the uh, Sorcerer's Tower. Okay. Even trying to look up the location on the wiki takes a while. Because it's never on the page you think it's going to be on. I don't know why they can't just list it on all the pages. Maybe I should update it and do that. But I probably won't. This town definitely needs a graphical upgrade. Jeez. Oh well. Uh, let's go ahead and wield this. Deposit that. Okay. Do I have any diviner outfit pieces? I do not. Well, let's just go. You know, something I haven't used in this account in a while is an aura. Huh. I probably have one, too, for divination, but we're not going to be there very long, just doing 100. I do want to get my divination up. It's Well, it was my lowest level. Now, I guess farming is probably my lowest level, right? No, runecrafting is. Okay, well, here we are. I should really train runecrafting. I used to go in the rune span. And I don't want to waste Tears of Guthix on. or Guthix on runecrafting, because runecrafting is a skill I can easily train. Thieving, too, actually. I should really train thieving. Why am I not training thieving? Either way, let's just finish this up real quick. And hopefully there'll be a little time to do something else. Maybe gain a thieving level. If this doesn't take too long. Okay, Glowing Wisp. Hey, there's someone else training here. He's much higher level than me, though. Okay. Of course, this is why we don't do this skill, is because it's just boring. You just click and wait. But you could say that about a lot of skills, I suppose. Oh well. Let's actually, while I do this, I can look up what other updates happened besides the boss update today, because I've mentioned a couple already. And I know there's more. Enhanced experience, please? Okay. They have this kind of lame help thing on the boss practice thing. Not really on practice, but 
like where you get special points for helping people who haven't beaten a boss ten times, I think that's kind of lame. But whatever. Okay. So they say the in-game clock has a countdown to distraction and diversions marked as favorites. Can be seen by clicking the button to the clock's left. What button? Okay, that just made me walk over there. Yeah, I don't actually know what it's talking about here. Like, how do you even set a distraction and diversion as a favorite? Oh! I never knew about that. Let's do it. Okay, favorite. Where is the circus? Favorite? That'll help me remember the circus, I'm sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I never knew about that. Is that new? Because I, I can't see what other purpose it would have. Unless it does something I don't know. Well, either way, that's good. There's no button next to the clock, though, so I don't know what they're talking about there. But it's also supposed to have notifications of upcoming JMOD events. There will be an exclamation mark next to it, apparently. Which there isn't now, of course. Okay, well, that's it for the main news post. Yeah, this is probably going to take too long for me to do anything else in this episode, sadly. But we'll do it. We're about to gain a level, so that's good. I wonder... Do I need to make the uh, whatchamacallit for this level? The boon. Well, I need to save up for that, but what about the previous one? Not glowing energy, but bright energy. Did I ever make this? I have not yet unlocked this permanent bonus. Whoops. That sucks. That really does. I'm going to hold on to these glowing energies for now. Look at that, though. Level 38. Come on, come on. Didn't really get anything for level 38, sadly. Yeah, that does suck. Sign of Respite 3. Okay, so we're just going to do normal experience because we're going to save these up for using in the boon. I'll probably just buy that stuff. Energy doesn't cost that much, especially now that they added those Divine Simulcrums, or however you say that word. I don't even know the spelling off the top of my head. But those give a ton of energy that you never need. Or at least that I never need. Uh, patch notes. What ninja stuff was there? Alright, you can have a keybind for the world switch. You can... Uh... Oh, there's a face south option that we saw earlier that I didn't know about. So that's cool. We. Yep, okay, well, let's get back to work. Um. That's really all the important stuff. Oh, except. Ah, they added quest points here. I didn't even notice. That's cool. That is really cool, and makes sense. Well, anyway, let's uh, let's hope this doesn't take much longer. Jeez, it's slow. Uh, where is it? It's challenges. Yeah, we're 61 in, 62. It's less than four inventories worth, so we're not that far away. This is our third inventory, but it's gonna be most of the fourth still. Now, I wonder, let me, uh, while we're waiting, let's load up this month's uh, update list behind the scenes. What's the next update? Is it anything we care about? What? Okay, well, apparently there's only two updates this month of importance. I forgot that, or never even really realized it. But it's just the 200th quest, Dimension of Disaster, and Boss Practice Mode. That's the two headlines they have for this entire month. That's a bit disappointing. 
everything else is just uh, in other news stuff. So that's cool, I guess. There is Ignatius Vulcan, the fire guy. Hard to experience. Okay. So, some more after this, and then we'll be done, and the episode will be over, because we're already running over in time. Hooray. This guy's still over here, just harvesting those wisps. I wonder if his level is actually that low. I forgot that you could actually do this. It is. That's funny. Nice dungeoneering level, though. But he's obviously been focused mostly on combat. Fishing, apparently. Cool stuff. I think that's the first time I've used the player examine feature since it came out. That's funny. I completely forgot that was a thing. Okay, come on. Oh. You know, I probably missed a uh, a big one, right? Maybe not. They appear every 20 minutes, and I haven't been here for 17 minutes, so... No. At least I don't think I've been here 17 minutes. Okay, well, anyway. I haven't decided what we'll be doing in the next episode yet. It could be another random quest, or uh, just something like Slayer, another challenge like I'm doing today. Or it could just be random training, which I haven't done much of lately. We could go work on runecrafting, maybe. Get that up to 40 or something, however much we could accomplish in 30 minutes. Which probably wouldn't be that much, but you never know with bonus experience and stuff. There we go, okay. Let's get rid of this, and then head on over and turn it in. We will definitely be getting level 39. I don't think we'll be getting 40, but I really don't remember how much experience I get from these daily challenges, so who knows? Come on. Taking too long, kebab. Okay, let's go. Berthope. That's another thing, is I really need to head on over to Berthope and do a uh, divine location every once in a while, because that's a thing that you can do in World 2, but we're not going to do that today. Okay, turn in challenge. Very nice. Got nearly 4k experience for that, almost got to another level. We can now transmute gold ore, if we ever cared about doing that. Let's just take care of this real quick. I want this. Give me the mask, please. Or this. I want this thing. This parrot that looks like a flying banana. Oh. Whatever. Well, anyway, this has been Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this video if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you in the next episode.